In this lesson, or this video, we're going to be doing a system of equations, and we are going to um, see what kind of situation we have, the intention, or the most likely we're going to be getting three variables with three equations. So we're going to have to see how we deal with that. So uh, problem number one, we have one eight ounce serving, um, one eight ounce serving each of brewed coffee, Red Bull, and Mountain Dew soda contains 197 milligrams of caffeine. All right, so um, uh, so one serving uh, of brewed coffee has six milligrams more caffeine than two servings of Mountain Dew. One serving of Red Bull contains 37 milligrams less caffeine than the other serving, um, than the other one serving each of brewed coffee and Mountain Dew. Find the amount of caffeine in one serving of each uh, beverage. So, um, the first one's kind of a, one serving each of brewed coffee, Mountain Dew, and Red Bull contains, a, it's supposed to be a total of 197 milligrams of coffee. So we're looking at um, coffee plus Red Bull plus Dew equals 197, okay? And then one serving of brewed coffee has six milligrams more caffeine than two servings of Mountain Dew. So more than, so whatever Mountain Dew has plus six more, so two Mountain Dews plus six, and then you have one serving of Red Bull contains um, 37 milligrams less caffeine than one serving each of brewed coffee and Mountain Dew. So the and means we're gonna combine them together. So your Red Bull is the combination of those two and then less 37. So coffee plus Dew. All right, so, so our situation is here are technically our three equations with three variables, but they tell me what my C equals and they tell me exactly what my R equals. So I'm just gonna plug stuff in. So I'm gonna substitute. So I'm gonna take the fact that I know what C equals and I'm going to plug it in right there. I know what R equals. So I'm going to plug that in. Let me go around the other way. I'm going to be plugging in what R equals. All right, so what that makes my equation look like is my C got replaced with 2D, 2D plus 6, so that was C, plus what was R is C plus D minus 37, and then plus D equals 197. Now, we're close to being in a good spot because right now we're sitting with um, two different variables. We have C's and D's in here. So let's just put together what we can and then we're going to be able to replace C one more time. But we'll do that in a second. So we have, um, let's see, we got a D, D and a 2D. So that is 4D, um, plus C, and then a 37 and the 6 can go together, so that's a minus 31, and that's going to equal 197. So we still would be nice if we can solve this and, and make it all into one variable, which we can, because we can replace C and it's just a bunch of Ds. So perfect, so 4D plus, we'll sub in that, so there's C, minus 31, equals 197. So if we combine our like terms one last time here, so that's 6D, and then these two are going to make a minus 25 equals 197. Finally, we can now figure out what D is going to equal. So if we add 25, you got 6D equals 222. Divide by 6, D equals 222 divided by 6, D equals 37. So that means we have, um, for our Mountain Dew, 37 
milligrams of caffeine, but in an eight ounce. So if you actually look at a can of Mountain Dew, um, I think it, it is proportional to that. So I think it ends up being double that because it's 16 ounces, 12 ounces, I don't know. Um, but there's your Dew. And then to figure out C, our C value is gonna equal um, two times the Dew plus six. So if you do the math on that, our coffee is 80 milligrams of caffeine for an eight ounce serving. And then our R, our Red Bull, is C plus D, so 80 plus 37, but then minus 37, so they cancel each other out. So your Red Bull has 80 milligrams. All right, so that was um, a word problem where you had to create your own equations, which is usually the most challenging part. And then it was actually a whole bunch of substitution then as opposed to elimination to solve that. All right, so that was example one. We're going to do a second example um, next.